Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to launch any navigation app directly from Google search results. So normally, when you use the Google search app to look for a location, the top result will be a knowledge graph card with a mini-map and a button to launch navigation to this place. But the only app that this card will open is Google Maps. If you're a Waze user, or if you prefer something like Nokia here to Google Maps, this gets a little frustrating. But an Expose module from Developer Shutoff will actually make this same Google search result launch the standard Android Complete Action Using dialog. This means that you'll be able to select your preferred maps or navigation app, and it'll launch instead of Google Maps in this scenario. To get this one going, you'll need to be rooted with the Expose framework installed. But if you need any help with that stuff, just check out my full tutorial at the link in the description below. Then to get started, open up your Exposed Installer app and head to the Download section. From here, search Navigator Selector, then tap the top result. After that, swipe over to the Versions tab, then hit the Download button next to the most recent entry. After a few seconds, Android's installer interface should come right up, so tap Install on this screen. When that's finished, you'll get a notification from Exposed telling you that the module hasn't been activated yet and that a reboot is needed. Just tap the Activate and Reboot button on this notification, and Expose will take care of the rest for you. When you get back up, just Google a location. Any place will do, just as long as the top result is one of these Knowledge Graph cards. You can tap the mini-map here if you'd just like to see the location itself, but if you'd like to get directions there, hit this button down here. At this point, you'll be asked which app you'd like to use to complete this action, provided you have more than one Maps app installed, of course. Go ahead and select your preferred app, then hit Just Once or Always. If you go with Always, this app will be open directly from now on. That means you can now use Google's powerful search engine to find results in your favorite Maps app. So it's the best of both worlds. But for more tips and tricks like this, be sure to check out my article at the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.